So, who is going to be the heart donor? Anyone that volunteers? Alright. I'll donate. Are you sure, Natalia? Anything to save her. Natalia, what are you thinking? I don't want to lose you too. Please, Natalia. Mom, it's going to be okay. Plus, if I don't do this, I'll have the guilt on my shoulder that I could have saved her. But instead, I would have been selfish for not at least trying. Trust me, I'll live through this surgery. We have the bed set up for you. Natalia. Look, I don't really know you that well, but from what I've heard and what I've seen, you're a great person. But you should be sure that you want the surgery. Natalia, I think you should donate. Plus, it'd be for the better cause, right? It would be quite selfish of you if you didn't. I mean, you just let your sister die and you had the chance to save her, but you decided to ignore her. Good luck in the surgery, Natalia. Yeah, good luck, I guess. Oh yeah, this is my brother. He's a bit of a grouch. <laughs> Go ahead and sit on the bed, please. Octavia, Octavian, I'm home. Octavia, Amphibian. God damn it, where are those kids? I agree, but... Hold on, that's my phone. Uh, hello? Where are you two? I've been worried sick. We're at the hospital. I didn't expect you to be home so soon. My friend... She got pushed down the staircase pretty hard. She's having a surgery right now, actually. Look, I'll see you when I get home. But I have to go. What was that all about? Dad called. Apparently, he got home early from his business trip and, well, he was waiting for us at the house. I guess he didn't expect that we'd be in the hospital. Oh my god, should we go home? I think we'll be okay. Plus, I think he'll survive. <laughs> we have a friend that's having a surgery right now that might not even survive. I'm sure dad can wait until we get home. You're right. The surgery was successful. Although, of course, you're faced with the loss of your friend over there. She didn't make it? No. 
I was pretty sure I made myself quite crystal clear that your friend wouldn't make it. And even if she did, it would be quite a low chance. She didn't make it. I don't know what you were expecting. But not everything is cupcakes and rainbows. How about a sorry for your loss? Ah yes, I'm sorry for your loss. She's in the other room. That was really messed up. Here. Yeah. Yeah, we should. Finally, you girls are home. Why are you two crying? Natalia died. She died. She was in the middle of her surgery, thought that she was going to get better, thought that she would survive, but she didn't. I'm so sorry. Um. Fibian. Well, um, it's, uh, nice to see you. It's getting late. I hope you girls ate because it's time for bed. Honestly, I could use some sleep. so overdramatic. What is happening here? He punched me. Get over it. Octavia, sweetheart, go upstairs. Why should I, of all people, go upstairs? What is wrong with you? I'm done with this. Octavia, listen to me. Please let me in, please. Oh, says the girl that assumed me of being a bad person. Hmm, should I let her in? No. Wait, Octavia-
just an average girl She always wore a smile She was cheerful and happy for a short while Now she's older, things are getting colder Life's not what she thought she wished someone had told her She told you she was down and you let it slip by So from then on she kept oh it God, on the inside She told herself she was alright But she was telling white lies Can't you tell, look at her dull eyes she Tried to stop herself from crying almost every night but she knew there was no chance of feeling alright Summer came by, all she wore was long sleeves Cause those cuts on her wrist were bleeding through your sleeves She knew she was depressed, didn't want to admit it Didn't think she did it, everyone seemed to miss it She carried on like a soldier with a battle wound Bleeding out from every cut her body consumed She had no friends at school, all